Hey, 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 how's it going guys? I'm Radu from Think It Lift. In this video, I want to share with you the benefits of getting lean first before focusing on gaining size. I know there's a huge debate going online on whether you should cut or bulk first. Everybody has their own opinion. And uh, by the end of this video, I think that you'll agree that getting lean first is the way to go for most people. We'll talk about how leanness affects two things. Number one, aesthetics and number two, lean muscle gains, which I'm sure is what you're interested in too as well. All right, let's get this video rolling. First of all, let me talk about what makes a physique attractive. So uh, you'll understand why I think getting lean first is better for aesthetics. We believe that an ideal male physique looks something like this. Slim waist, thick and wide shoulders, a V taper, uh, wide upper back muscles, a square masculine chest, well-developed arms and athletic legs. I'm sure your goal physique looks something like that as well. This type of physique requires two ingredients. Number one, you need to have a very low body fat percentage, so you have uh, good abdominal definition and muscle definition. And number two, you need good, great or elite muscle development. When you combine these two features together, you get a jaw-dropping physique. However, you'll notice something interesting here. It is possible to look great without having a lot of muscle mass. A few examples for this are Brad Pitt in Fight Club or Cam Gigande in Never Back Down. However, you can't look good without being lean, no matter how much muscle mass you have. For example, I never hear guys telling me about how they want to look like Tom Hardy as Bane in uh, The Dark Knight Rises or uh, how they want to look like Mark Wahlberg in Pain and Gain. No way. I think you'll agree with me that yes, these guys had a lot of muscle mass in those movies, but their physiques didn't really impress you. Why? Because they weren't lean. They didn't have enough muscle definition and they didn't have very good proportions because their waist was very wide. So you can see that when it comes to looking good, being lean is actually more important than having a lot of mass. So let's take a scenario from the real world. Let's say that a guy looking like this wants to start working out. What would you tell him that he needs to do first? Would you advise him to gain size or to get lean first? Well, I'd argue that you should tell him to get lean first. Here's why. The main reason you should tell him to get lean first is because Getting and staying lean is the key to aesthetics. That picture I showed you was actually me, almost two years ago. I was just getting into lifting and uh, I decided that I'm gonna get lean first. And bam! This is my first fat loss transformation. In the first picture, I was 5 kilograms, almost 12 pounds, heavier than in the second one. But didn't I look better in the second picture or the third picture? I think you'll agree that I look better um, after I lost fat and it was the right call. Also, take a look at these pictures as well. This is the transformation of my brother Andrei who got lean with me during that time. In the first picture he was 6 kilograms, that is 13 pounds heavier than in the second picture. Would you have believed that there were 13 pounds of fat on his body? Wow! Doesn't he look better when he's leaner? I think you'll agree that he does. Now you'll say, yeah, that's great, but uh, I don't want to stay that small forever. My goal is actually to gain size. I want to grow, I want to gain weight. I understand that. To get to your goal physique, you probably need to gain between 15 and 40 pounds of muscle. But still, starting with a, a cutting phase first sets you up for a perfect bulking phase. Think of it this way. To gain 15 plus pounds of muscle, you need to put yourself into a calorie surplus for a long time because that's a lot of weight to be gained. And when your weight is going up by that much, I don't care how clean you make your bulk, how lean you make it, some fat gain will be inevitable. That means, if you don't start your bulk when you're already lean, then by the end of your gaining phase, 
you will end up fat as hell. So for example, if you start a gaining phase when you're around 15% body fat and uh, you want to gain 15 pounds of muscle, at the end of your bulk, you'll probably end up around 19% body fat. 19% body fat is not an impressive look. I think you'll agree. You have no abdominal definition, your face looks puffy, your muscles don't have any definition at all, not to mention that you don't see vascularity anywhere, um, your proportions are probably terrible because your waist is wide, you just long, don't look impressive at all, even if you are much more muscular than you were at 15% uh, body fat when you started your bulk. Not only that, but uh, to get that fat off and achieve an impressive physique, meaning 10% body fat or lower, you need to diet for a long, long time. You're probably looking at 5 months plus of dieting, which is really not enjoyable. Now here's the thing, if you get lean first, then you can gain a lot of weight, fat included, and still not get excessively fat. Let's take the same example with the guy starting at 15% body fat. If he takes the first 7 to 9 weeks, and drops his body fat percentage to 9 or 10, then he'll be able to lean bulk for at least 7 months before he uh, goes back to 15% body fat. You'll say, so what's the point in that? He just got back to his previous body fat percentage. Uh-uh, here's the thing. If the guy lost 15 pounds of fat and uh, he then regained all those 15 pounds on his bulk, he wouldn't go back to 15% body fat. Remember that at least half of the weight that he'll gain during his bulk will be muscle mass, which means that although he will return to the weight, uh, to the same weight as before, his body fat percentage will be lower and he could actually go to a higher weight than the one that he started on and uh, only then he would get back to the uh, same body fat percentage. So in order to gain the same 10-15 pounds of muscle, the guy that got lean first would go from 9 to maybe 14% body fat and uh, the other one would go from 15 to 19% body fat. And that, that is a big big difference in aesthetics. But wait, there's more. According to research and observations, when you're lean, meaning under 15-16% body fat, something like that, a larger percentage of the weight you gain in a calorie surplus will be muscle compared to uh, the same calorie surplus when you are fatter. The reason for that is because when you're lean, you are more insulin sensitive, which means that your body can make better use of carbohydrates and uh, your nutrient partitioning is improved. Also, you may have a better hormonal profile when you're around 10% body fat, because it seems that your testosterone goes up when you uh, get to around 10%, because body fat, um, produces estrogen which can decrease your testosterone levels. Now, as we get fatter and fatter, insulin sensitivity goes down, which negatively affects nutrient partitioning, making lean gains much more difficult. Testosterone, as I said before, also seems to go down uh, when your body fat increases, because body fat produces estrogen. So, in simple terms, the ideal body fat range for gaining muscle seems to be between 8% to 15%. If you go above that or below that, muscle growth is usually negatively affected. So there we go guys, these are the three main benefits to getting lean before bulking. There are probably more, uh, but this is what I got today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Also, if you have any other sort of feedback or uh, you have anything else to add or uh, something else that you want me to know, Leave a comment below, I read everything and uh, I answer as many comments as I can. Now, if you want to know what you need to do after you got lean, meaning what are the next steps to your goal physique, then uh, check out my free ebook, The Path to Your Goal Physique. Uh, this will explain uh, how your fitness transformation needs to go down in much more detail than I, uh, I gave you in this video. Click here, get it for free, read it and follow it because uh, there's some valuable information in there. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. And uh, yeah, leave me your feedback in the comments.
I'll be seeing you next time. See ya.